Hey guys, and uh, welcome to a little guide on, uh, well, car points, upgrading car, or leveling up cars. As you can see, I have just finished 30 laps of Le Mans, and yet yeah, the total time is 150, 19, yeah, that's one hour, 50 seconds, or 50 minutes and 19 seconds. And because I figured out how you can do it without getting that little annoying pop-up every 15 minutes saying, Are you still there? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I win. Oh, wow. That was quite a lot of XP. Uh, nice. Okay, what's my level at? That's sort of the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, who gives a shit? And of course, the car's down. Fucking. Um. <laughs> Manufacturer, thank you. Let's see, Bugatti. So, 32. 32 levels in two hours. So, mm -hmm. yeah, three and a half hours or so. But it doesn't really matter because you don't have to, you know, do it on your own. Um, so what you do is, you get into the car you want to level up. And, well, now that I've actually leveled this up, I am going to go ahead and tune it. Uh, also, why do we have... Um, so that little, what is that? Makes it faster and handle better. Okay, dokey. If you say so. And conversions, I can't do yet. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and say that. that. And let's do quick tune. Uh. Right, so load the garage and then made it faster. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're doing the mount, so we want speed, but yeah, we also want to stick to the road. Ah, there we go. Sort of. Anyway, so once you put on whatever you can put on, if you can put anything on, uh, what you want to do is race free play, event setup, and select circuit race, and in this case Le Mans, and the old Molsen circuit that doesn't have those, uh, you can barely make them out, there's two chicanes on the back straight. You can clear, and well, let's see, we need about 18 levels, so give or take 20 laps. All right. Yes, yes, I would like to accept those. Damn Bulgarian. 
and cigarettes keep dying on me. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck off. You will be flat out on the mole side. Oh, no shit. Oh, lower the fuel. No need for all that fuel. And soft tires, because you haven't got tire wear and you haven't got uh, fuel usage, so fuck it. Um, difficulty, like so. And most important thing is in here. Fully assisted braking, uh, well, unassisted throttle, fully assisted steering, on, 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 and automatic. Mm. Right. But the most important thing to not get the pop-up is... <clears throat> Start the race. And then you want telemetry on. And not just any telemetry. You want it this the friction window. Uh, there are several windows you can choose from, but the friction window, for some reason, uh, stops the pop-up. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I'd been running this for an hour and 50 minutes and no pop-ups appeared. Uh, and no, I haven't tested if it works with other uh, windows in telemetry, but this is what I was told. Has to be the friction window. Uh, because reasons. Yeah, the car can't drive. But anyway, lock, lock the accelerator in place and the game will figure it out. And just let it run. And now go do whatever for the next however long you've got it going. So 30 laps was an hour and 50 minutes on this particular car. So that should give you an idea on how long you have to leave it. Uh, but yeah, it works and you won't get the annoying pop-up and the alternative is sitting here driving and who can be bothered? Well, Eventually, yeah, I will be racing cars as well and leveling them up this way, that way. But, yeah, this is the best I've come up with. And I actually owe a bit of an apology as well because I claimed that if you ran in rivals, you gained more XP. Nope. It turns out Contrary to what I would think and what any normal person would think, you think that the more sectors, the better, and the shorter the track, the better. Yeah, that's not the case. For some reason, Le Mans gives you just as much as driving one of the track, smaller tracks with uh, twisty turny bits. Uh, as far as I can. Okay. Yeah, I may need to adjust this tune. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, and no, I can't be bothered to race anymore today. <clears throat> so take any stock car and go do that. And it will race on its own without being interrupted or anything for as long as you want. So that's it. I hope it helps you. If not, mmm. Uh, yeah, go do it manually. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's the best I've found so far. If I stumble across anything better, I will, of course, let you know. But uh, until then, please remember to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.